Hey, welcome to the Danger Zone, it's Ashley. Everything in this video can be found on a public domain and the full disclaimer is down below. I wish you lots of love and many blessings. Okay you guys, so Kamala Harris has been a huge fan of Megan's for quite some time. To hear her say it, she also said that Tupac was her favorite rapper alive. So now Kamala and Megan are pairing up with the Archwell Audio. They're going to do some podcast. Now what was shared with me was this. The original plan was for Kamala to come on as a guest during one of these podcasts. Megan and Harry are sort of in a desperate situation. So they're clutching at anything they can get. And so now they're saying this could be a monthly, even bi-weekly, reoccurring guest spot for Kamala on this podcast. So in 2017, Harry had interviewed Barack Obama. I'm hearing he's going to sit next to Kamala Harris during one of her very first podcasts with Meghan and Harry. You know, this really went from variety podcast to political podcast really fast. They have huge plans for all these political figures to join in on this podcast. It seems they've been putting a lot of time into Archwell Audio. They're really good at multitasking, which I'm not, and I'm the world's worst procrastinator, if you haven't figured that one out yet. When you have too many pokers in the fire, something's going to take a back burner. Something's going to be totally neglected. So while they're putting all their efforts and their time into this Archwell Audio, this podcast, which it was told to me it took 30 people to create the last podcast they did, which was absolutely baffling to me why so guess what's suffering netflix they've put together a couple of things and presented it to netflix and netflix says no this won't work that won't work you're gonna have to come up with something better they're turning them down left and right so netflix has come up with something else now allegedly netflix created some sort of a calendar or a time schedule for them a probationary period and if they do not present Netflix-worthy material within this probationary period, they stand to lose $120 million plus. Here's my thing. You have to sort of like weigh it out, right? If you know Netflix is paying you $120 million plus to have some really good material, why in the world would you put all your efforts into R12 Audio that's only get you know, $30 million versus $120 million. You know what I'm, you see what I'm saying? I don't think it would be really hard to figure out which one I'd be really grinding on. How humiliating for them when Netflix terminates their contract. So, of course, this is putting extra pressure on them, right? And here's the next headline that's making its rounds. And this media source is not the only one talking about an impending divorce. Allegedly, they had this huge fight. Now, according to the friends, they're just under a lot of stress and pressure from, you know, everything Netflix is trying to give to them and they can't handle everything at once. That's their fault. They're saying that the fight started over the fact that he let it slip to a buddy they were talking to, that he's been in contact with his dad or his grandmother, whoever, and that, yes, he agreed they would all show up to celebrate not only Prince Philip's 100th birthday, but the Queen's 95th. Megan overheard the conversation and she got completely upset. You know, she's been notorious for removing the friends from his life and keeping him from his family. They've had a fight similar to this one in the past, maybe two or three others, but she doesn't want him in contact with the family unless she's in the area, in the same room. I've lived that misery before and it's terrible. So I know exactly what he's going through. So they're saying when she found this out, he was in contact with the family behind her back making all sorts of promises and guarantees, she became explosive. She got so heated that she took off with the friends and went to their house for several hours to cool down. And the next thing we're seeing are all these headlines regarding their divorce. While they're all stressed out acting crazy, Catherine's visiting with the Holocaust survivors, acknowledging all the pain and suffering and their triumphs. While Harry and Meghan are battling it out, She's praising these people for escaping their own battle. I really wish that the United States had something like the Holocaust Educational Trust. That's where the survivors go out and they teach the younger children all about the Holocaust, 
all about what took place back days versus having them read it out of a textbook it's always better hearing it you know firsthand so as they shared their stories with Catherine and she praised them for their strength and bravery here's Megan and Harry duking it out in the yard worrying about their next dollar bill I'm really shocked and surprised they didn't do something to honor the Holocaust survivors it must have slipped their mind while they were duking it out I hope you're having a really good day today, and I want to say thank you to everybody that's joined me at Rumble and at Brand New Tube, and soon enough, we'll be back at Parlor. I'll see you soon, and we'll talk fast. Please stay safe and be blessed.